I think most of us know the French New Wave, filmmakers like Francois Truffaut, Jean-Luc Godard, Jacques Rivette. But I think there's a generation that comes immediately after that, that uh, many of us are unaware of, and in particular here in North America. Uh, and it's a generation of filmmakers, I think, really headed by one figure in particular, and it's Philippe Garel. Well, I mean, Gorel and his circle at the time were mostly filmmakers, artists, uh, musicians, and that. So it, it seems natural he found this as a medium to express himself. And when you see that in the early films, they are very much an expression of oneself. They're films that are very interiorized. They're, they're very experimental, the first period of his filmmaking uh, in the 60s and 70s. It's not until later on in the 80s where he uh, kind of joins the more traditional filmmaking society and, and works, starts working with producers and starts making a bit more traditional films, although they themselves, I think, are also very radical in their minimalism and their refusal to provide easy answers. The Cinematheque has long wanted to do a retrospective of the films of Philippe Garel. The challenge was that a lot of the films were just not available to us in North America. But fortunately, the Metrograph Cinema in New York was able to work with Garel and put together this retrospective. So this is going to be the first time that many of these films will be shown in North America. We're very excited about this. It's a very rare opportunity. We have many amazing 35mm prints. We have great new digital restorations. So it's really a once-in-a-lifetime chance to discover uh, this great French filmmaker. And it's a great opportunity, I think, for audiences to come and discover uh, a very important link between that, that generation of the French New Wave and then some of our, our great contemporary filmmakers. Mm -hmm.